Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. If you check this out, sorry, it's kind of a mess. Um, it's last year's Animal Allies FLL board. Uh, today's video is going to be about, can we really use this ultrasonic sensor to use in FLL competitions um, when you need to be accurate with where you would stop on the board? So if you guys remember the shark mission here where we have to put this shark inside of this rectangle here so i was thinking the other day i wonder if this ultrasonic sensor could tell me how far away the board is and if i can program it to stop right where the shark needs to be in that tank and inside inside that rectangle so here's what i did i strapped on an ultrasonic sensor to this robot now here's what i initially thought i thought wait a minute can you push anything with this ultrasonic sensor here, will this ultrasonic sensor pick up the shark tank? So there was a lot of experimenting involved. Uh, here's what I will do. I will take you to the program and then come back and show you this on this robot. So let's go over to my laptop. So this program is so easy. I'm just gonna show it to you straight from my laptop. So sorry about all the screen craziness here. So here's all I did. If you guys remember, that shark can't be tilted over. So I dropped this move tank block to just 20% of my motor speed. I pulled out a weight block, changed it to uh, the ultrasonic sensor, changed it to uh, measure in centimeters. I measured that the robot or the shark tank would be 16 and a half centimeters away from the, the sideboard. And then I just wanted it to stop straight you know, so it would put that shark tank right in the middle of that rectangle. That's all I did. And so what I'm hoping is, is that, like we said before, the ultrasonic sensor won't sense the shark tank. It will really see the board and hopefully it'll place it right into that rectangle. So if this works and consistently, this is a viable option that we might look into. So let's go back to the board. Okay, everybody, I'm back here at the table. Um, so let me just go over in what was going through my head. Um, I know this ultrasonic sensor sends out this signal and I'm thinking, okay, I just got to be careful whatever I'm pushing that it doesn't slide too far in front because I know that this ultrasonic sensor would see that. So if you uh, just want to know, like you can't do this because then if I start to do this program, see it won't even start because it the shark tank is less than 16 and a half centimeters away. So if I line this up right, and I'll just move this out of its range, still hoping that it gets it inside that rectangle. Okay, so I must have moved it far enough over. And there's the 16 and a half centimeters. So What's really cool about that is I'm somehow, I mean, if we look at this, it must be looking somehow past it and it sees the board instead of the shark tank there. So let me just move this out of the way. And that's golden right there from last year. If you guys remember that, 27 points. So I just wanted to show you that this ultrasonic sensor, if you do this right, it can give you more accuracy here you can uh, sense the board now you know all boards are different but it's it placed that in there pretty good and I just had that program that I just showed you on my laptop to put it in there so just another viable option uh, for your FLL teams to use that ultrasonic sensor to see that to, ho to hopefully help you with uh, some of your missions there so I know that when you guys go to robot design that they would ask, hey, what are some of the sensors that you might use to help your robot? That could be another, you know, ace in your pocket. Like, hey, we do use that ultrasonic sensor to help us with some of our missions. And that, that could uh, be very beneficial to tell the judges that. All right, guys, I hope you found today's video uh, exciting, interesting, uh, worth maybe experimenting with. I don't know. Depends on your teams and what you guys feel comfortable with. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.